Roll call, Jeff. Robert Clay, yes. Sorry, I love you. Joe Williams. Joe Williams, yes. Wayne Cone. Wayne Cone, yes. Jeremy Ragland. Jeremy Ragland, yes. Mary Jean Krieger. Mary Jean Krieger, yes. Mitch Magnus. Mitch Magnus, yes. Larry Phillips. Larry Phillips, yes. The record will show eight yes, zero no, motion carried. Okay, an ordinance adding additional language in section 2.16.03 of the Harrison City. Make a motion to adopt. Second. I have a motion and a second to adopt. No discussion. Roll call, Jeff. Joel Williams, yes. Wayne Cone. Wayne Cone, yes. Jeremy Ragland. Jeremy Ragland, yes. Mary Jean Krieger. Mary Jean Krieger, yes. Mitch Magnus. Mitch Magnus, yes. Larry Phillips. Larry Phillips, yes. Bill Boswell. Bill Boswell, yes. Robert Goulet. Robert Goulet, yes. Record will show eight yes, zero no. Motion carries. I'd like to make a motion that we enact the emergency clause. Suspend second. and suspend the rules as and part of that motion. The rules yeah. and act the emergency okay, we have a motion by Mitch and a second by Wayne Combs. Does that require a roll call? Same as mm -hmm. the others. Mm -hmm. Jeff, roll call one more time, please. Joe Williams, yes. Wayne Cone. Wayne Cone, yes. Jeremy Ragland. Jeremy Ragland, yes. Mary Jean Krieger. Mary Jean Krieger, yes. Mitch Magnus. Mitch Magnus, yes. Larry Phillips. Larry Phillips, yes. Bill Boswell. Bill Boswell, yes. Robert Goulet. Robert Goulet, yes. Record reflects eight yes, zero no. Motion carries. Okay. Okay, the next thing on the, the agenda for me is the resolution for the mayor to sign the Honor Network Agreement for a Digital Service. Uh, you want to explain that, Mayor Jerry? Sure. Uh, did I share with you guys two weeks ago about the phone call we had with the Honor Network? Nope. Okay, so this is all new to you. Interesting. Um, you recall the video that took place in July. I think it was July. And, uh, you know, we expected that to be with us forever, and it will be. Unfortunately, that video is going to be around. And when you Google Harrison, Arkansas, that's what you're going to get. Uh, it was about three weeks ago, my wife and I were watching 60 Minutes, and uh, we saw a segment where a man uh, has taken up a cause to get rid of some videos and comments off of uh, social media and YouTube and things like that. He happens to be a, the father to one of the children that died in Sandy Hook. His son was the youngest, named Noah. And after that, uh, you all recall Sandy Hook and the conspiracy theories that were out there. Uh, well, it was really, really horrible on this man. And uh, so he went after, after those, and he was able to accomplish some things. So that was pretty exciting to watch, and I thought, well, I wonder if he could help us. So... We reached out to them, and we got a call back. Uh, it was about two weeks ago, a week and a half ago, from a lady that works for him. Uh, her name is Alex, and she kind of explained, uh, you know, the things that they can do. And that what they can do is they can possibly remove uh, a lot of the comments. They can't remove the video, but they might be able to remove a lot of the wordage, may or may not. 
They can also help us greatly with Wikipedia. And I wish I would have known this before because Wikipedia has kind of been the one that we hated to have out there because it showed Harrison as the most racist town in America. And she's got some great connections with Wikipedia and she thinks she can take care of that. That's really nothing compared to the video. The video is the thing that really has done Harrison a lot of damage and it will continue to do so forever. So anything we can do to minimize the video, I, I'd like to think uh, we need to do this. The agreement in front of you is what she sent that says she has to have this agreement. And I've shared it with Grant immediately and he's looked it over uh, in the last uh, two weeks. And Grant, I'd like to, maybe you can share with them. Uh, it asks for, uh, it's given us five free hours of their time. It doesn't talk about cost after that. There are no costs after that. In addition to that, what she indicated was the real value. She says they have 500 volunteers that do a lot of search work for them, but then they donate, they're donating in this case five hours. And as soon as I get that back to them, she'll get a report to me on what she can do. I'd like to get, um, have a video conference with her if we proceed and probably uh, the chamber and, and maybe a few others could be involved in that video conference to understand a little bit more about what they do. But right now it looks like nothing on our part and uh, possibly some uh, some good value for the city on the outcome. You know, the contract reflects that the provider will give five hours of pro bono or free service for the city. I discussed with the mayor that probably if this is something that uh, the council wishes to move forward with and, and the city uh, appreciates and finds value with the service, it would have to be, of course, an ongoing obligation. I am not aware, as I don't think the mayor is either, of what any ongoing costs would be after the five hours. Um, five hours, I assume, would be um, very small compared to the, you know, kind of perpetual need for something if this was um, put into place. Uh, Mayor and I talked, and of course cities uh, as a municipality, as a public body, have different obligations than corporations or private entities. And I've discussed with the mayor as part of, you know, looking into any agreement, the agent or the other party that potentially we would be entering into a contract with would have to understand, um, you know, cities and what citizens are allowed to say on a public forum and to understand kind of that versus what a private, you know, entity might have. But I, I assume and, and would not encourage, um, of course, the mayor to sign a contract or the council to approve a resolution for the same until we were, until I had a conversation with the actual company and we understood and were on the same page to ensure they understood what was lawful in Arkansas. So, um, but otherwise, if it were to be signed, there's no charge for the city for up to five hours. After that five hours, the contract would terminate and they would send a contract for services after that. Probably I would be curious to know what their rate is after that time before, um, you know, of course, before we began down that road. So that's all I know. I, uh, I put a lot of faith in 60 minutes that they're going to, they're not going to put something out there that's a uh, fraud in any way and uh, where you have no obligation behind, you know, be, uh, beyond the five hours. So. Well, I I got Grant's email referencing it, but I didn't ever see the, the contract. Um, the agreement. Yeah, you don't have the agreement with you? Okay. There's a, what is on, Grant, what did you send out today? It, it was just the, the resolution. Uh, yeah, it was, I'd assumed y'all had the agreement, but it's just the, it's, it's just the resolution. Okay. So why don't we table this then and we can take it up um, in February. Hmm. You okay with that? I, I don't think there's any rush because this is something that, you know, has been going on for some time and it'll continue to go on. But uh, I want to make sure you all have that that agreement in front of you, even though Grant, you know, says what it is. And, uh, you guys need to see that. So we'll, we'll make sure you get that. And your resolution says we reviewed it, which I haven't. So 
Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Well, and <clears throat> obviously we want to do whatever we can because it's going to be huge. I understand. Say, it's going to happen over and over and over again. Yeah. It's prudent to take whatever action we can if it's uh, a legitimate organization that's doing right. it with a legitimate group. Sure. Absolutely. And that's a, a point we made. And uh, we'll get you that. And if you Can have we any get questions, some more information from them? I'm sorry. Can we get some more information from sure. them? Sure. Yeah. Sure. You're welcome to. Uh, you're welcome to. Uh, I'm looking Google, at their website. Right now. Google them. Honor H O N R. Like you see it there. It's it's not like you see it there. I'm sorry. It's H O N R Network. And I'd be glad to forward everyone. Well, I guess it goes to the press end, but that's no problem. Uh, the email uh, conversation I had with them. Um, but then beyond that, I spend about an hour one Saturday morning on the phone with this Alex. And she was calling from uh, New York, I guess, or located up there. So. But let's make sure you get that, and, uh, and then we can take it up in February. There is no hurry. So let's take our time and get this right. But if there is an opportunity to do anything to squelch anything that represents us in a bad way, I think we all need to take a look at that. And I think you're all in agreement to that. But you just need to see the agreement. Okay, do I have a, maybe a, do we need a motion to table that? Um, I think so. Make a motion to table this. Okay. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second uh, from Bill. Does that need a... Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 There you go. Aye. Anyone opposed? Thank you. Thank you. We'll table that and we'll get to it next month. And if you have any questions in the meantime, I'll get it out to you soon. And if you have any questions, let me know. Um, all right. The only other thing we discussed in the committee the other night that we've not talked about tonight and I understand that Grant has got to do some further to work on it is the independent living lease on North Robertson. Uh, so yes, we're going to pass that till next month. Yes, yes, and he's. Uh, I think we're we're looking positive on that, and I think we want to be. So hopefully he'll uh, he'll come back with us with some good news on that facility. That's all I have, Mayor. Okay, good. Let's move down to the appointments that we want to make uh, to the Parks and Rec Board. And we can do these individually. The first one, I'd like, uh, I'd like to recommend Chris Pratt. That's Coach Pratt with the uh, high school. And uh, I think he'll be a wonderful addition. So could I... Uh, so the second. We got a motion by Bill and a second by Wayne. All in favor? Aye. Uh, anyone opposed? Okay. Aye. Yeah, thank you. Um, well, again, we got Alex Hatch. Well, may have to. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. Uh, tell Mister Gillay how to <laughs> answer while they're driving. Uh, Alex, a little challenge. <laughs> I think most of you know Alex Hatch, and uh, he'll also be a great uh, motion to approve. Second. Okay, that was Bill with a motion and Wayne with a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone? Anyone, Aye. Oppo there you go. anyone opposed? Okay, I better. Aye. I'll hold off on that. Anyone opposed? Probably. Okay. Uh, we've got a little bit more time here, folks. It's going to take tonight, so I want to uh, talk about a couple of things. I had the building fees on here. It it probably doesn't need to be discussed much tonight. The reason I I put it on there was. We, and I say we, the city of Harrison, along with the Chamber of Commerce, we are working hard to find home builders. We are out of homes. It's hurting us in many ways. We've never been in this predicament ever. Back in the early 90s, when we had a little uh, kind of surge in home, uh, home buying, a lot of people grabbed their hammers and went out and built homes, and they sold them. Uh, and at that time, there wasn't, uh, wasn't a uh, license required for home builders. Now, today there is. So those guys can't do that, you know, without a license. So we're looking for different ways to encourage people to build spec homes, not for themselves, but spec homes. 